that views every county as a tourist destination and we want to enhance the competitiveness of every county. Uh, we believe in our vision of uh, we want to see Kenya recognized as a tourism destination with all the 47 counties put together because we believe every county has been endowed with different natural resources that can attract different, uh, different tourists with different interests. We are here at Dr. Spa, Spa Doctor Hotel, uh, because tourism runs as, a, as an entire system. It consists of the attractions, the hospitality establishments, and the travel industry. Uh, we have a program, uh, Travel to Learn, Learn to Travel. It's a program for young people to engage in the tourism development and in environmental conservation. So we train, mentor, and educate young people on the importance of participating in tourism and getting them to know, to start learning about tourism and environmental conservation at a tender age. So we are working in partnership with Wildlife Clubs of Kenya to train these young people. Our program has been running in primary schools and high schools, and now we are introducing it to the university. So basically we involve these children in activities to we have workshops where they discuss about the industry. Then we also have projects for them, uh, the recycling project, waste management and conservation projects that these children can adopt the same projects in the community or in their homes. So in Amigos we want to bring about recycling, we want to bring about conservation of the environment and that is why we, we have the programs in schools. Uh, from the primary, uh, secondary, and we have also uh, started lifting the universities. So we want to educate the community and basically the students, the young uh, students, the young people in the community, so that they can encourage the environmental conservation. Yeah, so we are really concerned about our environment and we want that change. We want these children to understand the other part of the tourism system. They have been the attractions. Now we are bringing them to the hotel establishments to understand what really happens in a hotel establishment. How the hotel establishments contribute towards tourism development. So today we are here for them to understand the different careers that are available in the hospitality establishment and also to understand the, the services and the products offered by the hotel uh, which uh, brings development to the tourism industry. the goal of the hotel, to serve the client so that they feel okay, to achieve the, everything that the client wants here.
just done inside there, eh? indoors, in the gymnasium, okay? So these are called stationary bicycles, okay? We have another machine here called the treadmill. The treadmill, if you don't want to go out for outdoor workouts like running, like jogging, yeah? morning run and evening run, yeah? you come to the spa gymnasium, we have now the, the treadmill. I'll show you slowly. Yeah? We have got buttons where we can increase our speed, whatever kind of speed you want to go. To start now. Uh, on the same verge, talking about the careers, we we'll also have them visiting the Ministry of Tourism to understand the role of the Ministry towards um, tourism development in the county. Because we believe the Ministry they are the main stakeholders in terms of tourism in the county. So I just highlighted a few features that we have, including Mount Elgon, uh, a cave, but that's the cave for the elephants. Uh, we have uh, we talked about scale assembly and, and, and the magic rock in Sangalo, the second biggest rock in Africa, Mwibai, in Nabiole Falls, we have uh, Jetambe Ford, which is part of our history, Namachanja, Mesolium, uh, and uh, so many other products and the surrounding circuit that we can also in the language in terms of tourism. And uh, we are saying that we have very unique features. All that we need is to have people who will passionately uh, conserve our environment and promote tourism. And the people will want to come and see the needs that we have. The theme of this uh, traveling to land, we want to make sure that these children are getting the concept of tourism. We are breaking it down to them to understand them in the simplest way they can. So when they are traveling to this attraction, they get to learn and also the traveling part is more of the adventure part of tourism now. These kids are, are able to have fun. At the same time as they're having fun, they're learning a lot concerning tourism, hospitality, travel, and hotel establishments. So the aspect of traveling to learn is just mixing up the adventure and the learning part of tourism. We want uh, our children to see, our students to see that what they learn in the schools are even implemented in the community. We travel, we travel to learn, we visit various tourist, tourism sites in Bungoma and other counties, but we, we started from Bungoma. Uh, what we do, we take students to trips to, 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 to familiarize them with tourism activities in their place. The club started uh, two years ago when Madam Nipora visited us and told, told us about the, the existence of uh, this club, Amico. So we started, and I think this is the third year. Um, it has benefited the, the, the learners because of uh, making them to be creative and innovative. And uh, as they are continuing with their workshops, they have been learning, and those things they have been learning are benefiting, benefiting them academically. Because most of the things they are learning are basically from social studies and part of science.
understand. Being a young entrepreneur, it's really tough to get in the industry uh, without sources of income. But uh, the main thing that has been driving me is the passion and the vision that I have concerning tourism. I studied tourism management, so it has been my push, my passion. It has been really hard setting up everything without having a real source of income. So it's more of the sacrifices that uh, we've made to reach this stage. Then at first, uh, getting people to understand your vision, to buy in your vision and supporting in your vision, it's not that easy. I've engaged with different people, creating networks, but from the very many networks, we've only been able to get a few mm -hmm. who, have, who have bought into the vision, which is a plus for us. Uh, like engaging young people who can buy into the vision and help us to uh, relay out whatever we want to do as an organization. So we, right now we build up a team of people who are uh, who have already bought into the vision and they are also sharing the ideas, opening up their minds on how to get uh, to get the industry rolling. Uh, imagine a country having a lot of tourists coming along because of the destinations that we have. We have a lot uh, in the tourism uh, industry. For example, if someone comes and some people want to come for the hospitality services, others want to come for mountain climbing, the weather, and we have a lot in Kenya. And if we come um, as a team to encourage environmental conservation in our country, we will really boost our economy in the country. So I would, um, I would say we have made an impact in the community so far, and many people are joining our programs and they are being encouraged to conserve the environment through recycling, through uh, waste management, and, and uh, with the workshops that we have in schools, because parents are also involved in the schools. Yeah, so it's, it's basically what, if you have the passion to change the environment, to conserve the environment, we'll have a lot in the country. We'll My name is Mauka Newton from Teremi Boys High School. I'm here to represent the world at 50. I'm here to represent the world's environment at 50. Today it may be seen as a dream, the dream that was founded by our founders, that it may not come true that we will reach 2050 as an environment. But it is not a dream. It is always said that dreams are founders of life. And today I found the dream that is for the founders of life. It is my prayer. In every time I sit down and I do a poem, I also say, I always say that God protects the world, that God keeps the nature of the world, that it is only through our writing, it is only through our education and through our talking that we may change the entire world. The dreams are founders of life today. It may be seem simple, but it entails what the world wants today for us tomorrow. We are environmentalists. We only need the support to take us forward and to keep on fighting. We are like, we are like soldiers in a, ba in a battlefield. We never retreat, we never surrender. And today, our rule is that we will never retreat, we never surrender towards the conservation of the world and towards the dream of the world at 2050. It is my desire that me and you come together, hold down together, and conserve the environment for the better. It is my desire that we go home and teach our parents not to cut down the trees, not to burn the fossil fuels, because it destroys the environment. Let's join hands together. For it may be seen that the world is big, but the world is a global village. It is a village that we may hold hands together as the people of the world and do it better. Together, we can do it more. Thank you.